So yeah, no, I think we'll call any last things you want to bring up with the audience, uh, Mr. Brayton. Uh, there you go. Beautifully said. <laughs> yeah, I got it's it's six twelve in the morning. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. I want to kind of go to bed before the sun sets up too. But thank you so much for joining me. This may like me just doing artwork by myself. It doesn't really work out so well. Although I'm glad you guys uh, were very talkative in the in the comment section. Anybody listening in the future about your thoughts on the whole sub versus dubbed uh, dilemma? Like again, my opinion. Make them both good. Make them both available on the same DVD. Boom, we're good. And to anybody listening to this in the future, if you have questions for me, by all means, leave them in the comments section. I'll leave them for the next uh, episode of uh, whatever show I'm doing. So I don't think art. I think this pilot for artworking didn't succeed too well. <laughs> oh, is that the uh, title yeah. of this? Movie? Yeah, this was the title for this one. I think whenever I do a, I next time I think I'm just gonna go in and add it alone and just have like minimal music play. Mm -hmm. um but yeah i was supposed to do a bunch of artwork this was another piece i was supposed to do which is uh the unmade godzilla villain uh general gamora gamani so oh. yeah an, an alien general who fights she's got godzilla. tits too <laughs> funny story <laughs> okay so you, you know the 19 <laughs> i got really turned on <laughs> <laughs> no you know the 1970 movie house house Su? House Su. yeah, yeah but you know my favorite character in that movie uh prof dancing skeleton oh yeah <laughs> you can relate <laughs> just boogie on down in the background <laughs> no my brother gabe uh, uh revisit my brother gabe and his friends they actually talk about house in the second half of episode three of uh of um time mule their podcast check it uh yeah time mule is good get ladies and gentlemen check it out but no no the guy who did house was during 1978 he was asked to do a godzilla movie and he came up with his idea was a space Godzilla. And that's the one where it turns out Godzilla was not only a woman this whole time because he dies. She dies of diabetes, but she was secretly an alien from another world. Just nobody could communicate with her. Uh, so what they had, what they did is they convert her corpse into a spaceship and her unborn baby uh, is raised elsewhere. And they're both sent back to the planet of the Godzilla's where the super intelligent Godzillas are at war with the Sphinx Empire, which are a group of evil aliens led by General Gamani here. And I'll be honest with you, Brayton, the original design is way worse. I put the bra on to make the character more appealing because before she was just bare-breasted and she, apparently she could fire streams of lasers from her nipples. Again, not my idea. This is from the guy who did House Sue. And it's like, holy crap, this is ridiculous. I can't do this character and have this old on G-Fest. G, G so I, I, I decided to give her a, a, a giant br iron bra based on her gutlets, which is the only clothes she's wearing. <laughs> and the final battle was going to be Godzilla's husband, uh, uh, Roseanne, Roseanne uh, Leon, I think, <laughs> fighting General Gamani. <laughs> Yeah, no, no, I, I forgot what the name of the husband was, uh, but Godzilla's husband, uh, Godzilla's <laughs> real name is Roseanne. <laughs> Water. <laughs> Godzilla's real name is Roseanne. <laughs> Yes, Godzilla. <laughs> Godzilla's <laughs> real name is. <laughs> you said it so earnestly. <laughs> oh, because because Godzilla's real name. Is <laughs> okay, I'm glad I left the church. Okay. <laughs> and then Godzilla Roseanne battles the Medea hypothesis. <laughs> And oh, save the world. <laughs> oh, oh my God! <laughs> yeah, it's too early. Yeah, oh. it's too late for me. <laughs> oh, when I know that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Oh God! I, I went. Oh God! When I laugh this hard, my face hurts because it's in a permanent <laughs> smile. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, because God's old real name is Rose. <laughs> Oh, I wouldn't accept that from Patrick. 
<laughs> so any so yeah, so the fi- the climax was General Gamani and Godzilla's husband, Roseanne's husband, John Goodman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the other 50 foot good man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the 50 foot John Goodman. Uh anyways, they have a battle on on like a an asteroid belt, so they're hopping from asteroid versus asteroid. Where do they find a belt to fit him? <laughs> <laughs> He's lost weight. <laughs> so yeah, and then that, and then after defeating the Sphinx Empire, the space Godzilla's the alien Godzilla's ascend into heaven, and it's basically yeah, that's the end of the movie. Well, that seems about right. Yeah, and it was going to be done with stop motion puppets. They were trying, yeah. So in fact, they even made one test puppet of uh of Godzilla's husband. So, so yeah. That's what this picture is about. But yeah, it's like even I thought the bare breast was the one saying. John Lemay makes a career out of researching this. <laughs> I got his books. <laughs> I got one, two, three. Yeah, I got all of them. No, I, I, I didn't even bust up when you said he died of diabetes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first off, why would a monster who can live off radiation and not eat regular food die of diabetes? Yeah, <laughs> yeah did, was he killed up by the cake monster off camera? I don't know. <laughs> no access to insulin. Poor guy. <laughs> and I think this was going to be from the guy who did ha- the, the, the 1977 Japanese house movie. Yeah, I love it. I, well, I like that movie a lot. Mm-hmm. But maybe, <laughs> uh, yeah. We dodged a bullet there. Yeah, if you think uh, Yoshi Mitsubana was far out, (laughs) that is stone cold sober in comparison. (laughs) Yeah, because I don't know what they were thinking, but Star Wars just came out. Stop motion ruined everything. Yes, I think stop motion was making a small renaissance on Japanese television. And House, despite being hated and pandered by Japanese critics, did really well in the box office. Mm, so i think it's like hey you you want to do a godzilla movie fire boobs and diabetes ship (laughs) (laughs) sorry we asked (laughs) (laughs) oh god but yeah at least the story got printed in the japanese starlog magazine oh yeah so not all lost yeah kind of i don't know but at the same time i think i think we're we're kind of good not doing this one didn't get made (laughs) yeah but yeah, needless to say, the original General Gamani design, she was bare breasted, and it's like, I can't do that. So I gave her a mega iron bra. Well, extra points for decency. Thank you. Thank you. So uh, but on, on that note, I think we should end tonight. Yeah, I don't know how we're topping that. Yeah, do you still uh do you still want to uh, I'll talk to you after the show. <laughs> <laughs> After I wake up and realize you you didn't have a heart attack. <laughs> no, Brayton, I'm gonna die of diabetes, and fly- <laughs> they're gonna make a spaceship so Fluffy can go back to her home planet. Yeah, that was the original pitch, and then just say, let's just kill her off. And say she was addicted to pills. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Not before attacking Menia with paper hangers. <laughs> oh. oh my god. Okay, so yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us.